What's going on everyone? I'm out here at Adam's place. After that last ride that we did for his first ride, um, we kind of noticed that his suspension's a little stiff. So we're gonna adjust his bike a little bit to make it softer and hopefully a little bit uh, shorter for him to be able to touch the ground. And uh, yeah, anyway, after this adjustment, we're gonna take his bike out again and do it a little bit easier, hit certain trails and just keep practicing on those. So that way he can get his sea legs going. What, you don't wanna make it hard and see me drop the bike a bunch of times? No, I don't <laughs> want you to drop your bike anymore. Damn it. So reading through the WR250 manual, there's seven different adjustments to be able to adjust the suspension. Um, the suspension on this bike, because of the previous owner, was not only a taller and heavier rider than me, it is just, it's way too stiff for me. And I think that was one of the things when we went on our last ride that I was really fighting was the fact that the suspension was just too stiff. So today I am going to soften all of the suspension to match my weight. And hopefully this will help me not drop the bike as much. So the first adjustments we're gonna do, we're gonna start at the front forks. Now there's two different adjustments on each fork. There is the rebound dampening and the compression dampening. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn everything to the hardest setting and then count how many clicks until it goes all the way to the soft setting. And based on the manual, it says that it should be 17 clicks for the softest rebound um, and then it should be 19 clicks for the softest compression. So let's see how that works. Okay, so we're bottomed out. So now we'll rotate to soften. Okay, so now that we've got the rebound dampening set, we've got to do the compression dampening. That's at the very bottom of the fork. And so we've got to take out a couple of little rubber grommets and get to that screw hole. I'm gonna jack the bike up a little bit more so I have a little bit more room to do that. So like a plastic nipple in there? Yep, so it's just basically just this little plastic stopper and then that exposes the adjustment screw that's inside. So I'll say on this adjustment, it's not as much of an audible click as it was for the rebound adjustment. I could feel it through the screwdriver really well. So you just, again, want to make it as hard as it possibly can go and then just click out one at a time, count your clicks, the manual says 19 clicks in order to get it to the minimum softness. Obviously, you don't want to back it out all the way because then you're going to basically take your fork all the way to its limitations. You still want to have a certain amount of rebound and dampening happening so that the shock actually works the way it's meant to. Dude, you're already done with the front? Already done with the front. Holy cow, that was fast. How long did that? That was like, what? Not even five minutes. No, not even. I mean... It's, it's literally four screws on the front end. So it's something that's super simple that you can do on the trails. When he was adjusting his forks, one side was stiff. The other side was somewhat soft. So that's not good to have different balance, you know, where one fork's gonna be shooting harder and the other one's gonna be just softer. Now what I've got to do is I've got to measure the spring to see how much it's compressed because we want it to be eight and a half inches to be the minimum softness that the manual suggests. Right at eight inches. So half an inch worth of play to add. All right, so using my trusty tools to loosen the first jam nut so that I can move the second jam nut and adjust that spring up another half an inch. So you can see the springs just moving ever so slightly with each tap. Would probably be a little easier with a actual spring adjustment tool, but you use what you got. This isn't as quick as the front. No, it's not. This is definitely one of those patience is a virtue thing. <laughs> okay, so now that after all that painstaking hammering, um, the spring is set to eight and a half inches, which is the minimum softness from the factory. Um, now there is a little adjustment knob down here that's for the rebound dampening that we've got to, again, take all the way 
till it's as hard as it will go, okay? And then we have to count out 25 clicks, which I can tell you it was on number five. So we were 20 clicks harder than it realistically should be for my weight. Talk about up close and personal okay. with the bike. One, two, three. Okay, so rebound dampening is at 25 clicks, which is the softest from factory. So now up to the compression dampening, which needs to be at 12 clicks. And just like that, suspension is adjusted to its softest setting. And it's squishy. You can touch the ground. So I'm not flat footed, but I'm not on the very tippy toes. I'm at least on the ball of my feet, which, you know, if. If you ride motorcycles, like that's significantly more comfortable than being on your tippy toes. And now I don't even have to lean the bike to be flat footed on one foot. So much better. He's gonna be doing some backflips soon. <laughs> <laughs> Wheelies, jumping over logs. I yeah, see it. I think this is gonna make a huge difference on the trail. Time shall tell. All right, let's cruise on out on the trail. Thank you.